What do we have here? Fencing made with craft sticks, also known as popsicle sticks. Let's have fun with craft sticks. So, first thing you need to do is make an aging solution with thin steel wool and white vinegar. Any kind of vinegar will work. White vinegar is easily obtainable. Put it in a container, let it age for two or three days. Gotta have some patience. Also, wear gloves or use tweezers because you don't want to get this stuff on your hands. It'll stain your hands and your fingernails. So, the longer this ages, the darker the effect. So you have to do some experiments on how dark you want it. So, uh, what do you do? Well, you decide the shape you want. Uh, Dog-eared, uh, picket fence, uh, just broken, uh, super distressed. And um, then you submerge the wood in the solution. And again, don't get your fingers in there unless you're wearing gloves. And then lay it out to dry. It's going to take several hours for the effect to show up in its full glory. Then you'll know by using a test strip if it's too light or too dark. And you can thin it out or let it percolate a little longer. Uh, by the way, you need to let this breathe. So you have to have either a cloth over it or... Uh, the top has to have some holes in it because the hydrogen comes up and you don't want this where your, your wife or significant other can smell it because it is vinegar and it's powerful so anyway <clears throat> here's some uh, examples here's just the old distressed one uh, this one is using a different solution of coffee and rust and then in the back here we got some picket fence type uh, fencing and uh, how did I get the grainy look in there well it just takes some effort um, find something similar to this like a little punch and you just carefully make your lines you make enough lines it all it all kind of blends in and you get this cool almost cedar-like uh, rough sawn wood. So do that after you weather it, because you do it before, it's going to swell up and disappear on you. The wood will swell up. So then, um, I use this sort of as a jig to uh, line it up. So you figure out where your, where your supports are going to be, and then uh, glue the first one down. I used hot glue, but you could use uh, turbo tacky glue or something like that. Just let it dry thoroughly before you move it. And then uh, you put the first one down and then you even it up, make sure it's straight, and then just bring them across. And there you go. Uh, when you're cutting these, uh, make sure you have a nice sharp uh, pair of snips takes the pressure off your hand and your muscles and that's about it so if you have any questions let me know you can see how fun this is and how cool the effect is have fun have fun with craft sticks I'm out